first, a Valley woman vanishes without a trace, and now 13 Action News talks with a man that Metro says could have been the last person to have seen her alive. Good evening, I'm Carla Wade. And I'm Todd Quinones. 13 Action News reporter Cynthia Maldonado spoke with him right before he called police. He joins us now live, and Cynthia, what is he saying? Todd Carla, Brent Smith lives right by Esmeralda Gonzalez. He told me on May 30th, she asked him for a ride after several other neighbors had turned her down. He claims he has nothing to do with her disappearance. Metro Police has been looking for this man, who they believe could have been the last person to see Esmeralda Gonzalez before she vanished. For 61 days, he was a mystery. Investigators then turning to the community for help in identifying him. First time I met her is when she came and asked for a ride to go to the BMW dealership. It was in the middle of the day, it was me and my boy. Brent Smith is a man in those photos. He lives across the street from Gonzalez. She said she got locked out of her car. Uh, that was it. Give her a ride back home, unlock her car door, and that was it. Smith claims he recently found out she was missing, but never thought police would want to talk to him. It was funny and crazy at the same time. It was like looking for me, silly. I was super surprised. It was sad because we seen her on the mailbox. They had a, my wife seen a picture of her on the mailbox. I like, ain't that the lady, the girl across the street? Gonzalez went missing on May 30th. Her brother Juan says she suffers from two mental disorders, leading to the week she went missing, she was off her medication. She's diagnosed with schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. His only concern, she may be confused and scared. Brent told me he was calling Metro Police to let them know he's the man in those photos. He says he's willing to help in any way he can as he claims he has nothing to do with Gonzalez's disappearance. Cynthia Maldonado, 13 Action News.